My name is Tammy Brady. I am a professor of pediatrics in the Division of Pediatric Nephrology with a joint appointment in the Department of Epidemiology at the School of Public Health. I am also the medical director of the Pediatric Hypertension Program at Johns Hopkins Children's Center. Hypertension is increasingly present in children and in adults and is a leading cause of cardiovascular disease, morbidity, and mortality. Hypertension screening is key to prevention of cardiovascular disease and key to hypertension screening is obtaining accurate blood pressure measurements. Professional guidelines recommend that patients be seated with their arms supported in such a way that the middle of the blood pressure cuff is at mid-heart level. I and others have previously shown that this recommendation is not consistently followed and that patients instead have their arm rest in their lap or hang at the side. Colleagues at the Welch Center for Prevention, Epidemiology, and Clinical Research and I wondered how much measurement error, if any, occurred when one's arm was resting in their lap or at their side during blood pressure measurement. To answer this question, we recruited 133 adults from the community to participate in a crossover randomized clinical trial. We sorted them at random into one of six possible groups that differed by order of the three seated arm positions. Now, everything else about the blood pressure measurements were standardized, specifically before all blood pressure measurements were taken, the participants were asked to empty their bladders, and then they walked for two minutes to mimic a typical clinical scenario in which people walk to a clinic or to an office before the screening measurement takes place. They then underwent a five-minute seated rest period with their backs and their feet supported. Each person wearing an upper arm blood pressure cuff that was selected in size based on their measured mid-arm circumference had three sets of triplicate measurements taken with a digital blood pressure device 30 seconds apart. Upon completion of each set of three measurements, the cuff was then removed and participants walked again for two minutes and rested again for another five minutes. Now, because blood pressure varies from minute to minute, beat to beat, all participants underwent a fourth set of triplicate measurements with their arms supported on a desk. This step, again, was designed to account for well-known variations in blood pressure readings, and this measurement was used in our difference in differences analysis. All of the measurements were conducted in a quiet and private space, and participants were asked not to talk to researchers or use their phones during the screening. Now, what we found was that blood pressure measurements obtained with arm positions frequently used in clinical practice such as on the lap or unsupported at the side, were markedly higher than those obtained when the arm was supported on a desk, which is the standard recommended arm position. Supporting the arm on the lap overestimated systolic blood pressure by four millimeters of mercury and diastolic blood pressure by four millimeters of mercury. An unsupported arm at the side overestimated systolic blood pressure by six and a half millimeters of mercury and diastolic by four and a half millimeters of mercury. So this work shows that when screening for hypertension, it's essential to make sure you properly position the arm. By not doing so, you run the risk of obtaining a falsely elevated blood pressure and potentially misdiagnosing a patient. I think this work also highlights how important it is to educate patients who conduct home blood pressure measurements to make sure that they know how to position themselves properly and that they know that they need to make sure their arms are resting with their cuffs at mid-heart level. Thank you.